Hey everybody, this is um, Kyle, your Renting Gamer here, and I'm going to show you how to use your Android phone for internet access on your computer. Um, to do this test, I am going to be going into World of Warcraft, the game that everybody so dearly loves, and testing the internet connection with my current internet before I plug in my phone and disable it. Right now I already have it disabled, because this is an HP Pavilion DV5000 from 2005. Now my internet is enabled. For my regular internet. And there, we're connected. So I'm going to put this camera down for a minute while I log into World of Warcraft. So since I don't want you guys knowing my information, I'm just going to put this camera facing towards me while I type in my information. Just so you know, um, this laptop is from 2005, as I said. It's running Windows 7 Ultimate Edition with 1.5 gigs of RAM, when it's really recommended too. Um, this computer is Vista capable, but I never upgraded it to, to, uh, to Vista, because I hate Vista. Let's see here. Eight, 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 eight. Shit! Mine. Sorry about that, that was my younger brother <laughs> looking for stuff. Um, as I was saying, my World of Warcraft is on my external hard drive and it's obviously plugged in through a USB thing. So I am logged on right now as my oldest character. This was the second character I have ever created. But I stopped playing him when I switched over to another server. So he never got really past level 56. I've been playing since 2004 and I still haven't gotten this guy to the level cap. Isn't that pretty pathetic? But then again, I don't play as much as I used to. Um, so this is, this is what it looks like when I'm playing regular. Um, I should go into a major city, but I already know I lag like shit in there. So... That's to prove my internet connection. Alright, let's disable the internet. It'll take maybe a minute or two before the game to recognize there's no internet, so let's just jump around like 12 year old for a little bit. Preferably staying away from stuff that can get me killed. So that's why I'm sticking inside the major city. So I'm not even the proper level to even be in here. <laughs> okay. So we obviously been disconnected. So I'm gonna Minimize this. So what you're going to download... Oop, there we go. On the Android market is PDA Net. So you do that, you download it. It's free on the Android market. And... Hold on, I have it somewhere on here. Nope, not that way. Huh. I guess I never put it on my background. So, um, I'm gonna look for that real quick. Okay. So, pretty much what you're gonna do here... Sorry for going quiet, it's just that when my brother runs by, he usually says something, and I didn't want him interrupting me talking. Um, right now, my internet is obviously disabled. For this program, you're going to have to download the program as well onto your computer. It's called, um, obviously, PDA Net. I don't know the exact website link. All I did was Google it, and it came up as the first thing. I just typed in PDA Net, 
downloaded it. I don't know. Follow the simple instructions. Um, once you install this, do not plug it into your computer right away until you've successfully installed the program on here. And during the installation, it'll ask you to connect your phone so it could finish the installation. But make sure you keep this off. Um, during after you finish the installation on here, you're gonna have to go into your settings, go into applications, go into development, and then check off USB debugging so that the program can run properly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Right now I have it enabled and I already have the program on this laptop. And that little icon right here is the program. So it's telling me make sure your USB debugging is on. So this obviously means you're going to need your USB connector for your phone plugging into your computer. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let me put the camera down for a second while I do such thing. And once I connect this, I should have internet access, if not just as good as my regular wireless. This obviously is not a wireless connection it's giving us. So let it do its thing. Now that you can read, because I'm using my um, flip camera. Right now it says I have no internet connection. So I'm going to pull up PDA here. Please start PDA on your phone. So I need to restart it because I turned it off without turning it off before. Turn it off turn it on. Basically all it's doing is tethering the connection. Where's my internet? Setting up broadband. Here we go. It's connecting. It is connected. Now I have internet on my phone. So it's as if I have a regular phone wire as if I have, you know, uh, what's it called? Dial-up. It's like I have dial-up on here, but it's not like dial-up, because this is much faster than dial-up, which is kind of pathetic if you ask me. Since we already have WoW up, I'm going to, um, oh, I got two WoWs up. I'm not sure how I managed that one. Come on. Get off there. Alrighty. WoW totally froze on me. Awesome. Every time I go to do a video, it fails on me. So I'm going to put this camera down while I try to fix this. Actually, better yet, I'm just going to open up WoW again, log myself back in. <sighs> Come on, WoW. There we go. I would show you the whole installation process, but... That would require me uninstalling all this bullcrap and then reinstalling it all, and I don't feel like going through that again. Not that it was complicated, it's just I'm a lazy person. I know we're reaching at least 10 minutes on this video now. Um, now keep in mind, we're doing the same internet connection, not the same internet connection, the same settings with the same computer. Alrighty. Logging into WoW. Ah, there we go. That, we're nine minutes now. As long as we don't hit 15 by the time I end this video. Just to prove to you, I still am connected. Not that you could tell. Let's try. No, I can't tell you. Um, but this is when this blue light's on, that means my wireless is connected. And obviously, it's off right now. I think this is perfect for people on the go, personally. Um, $12, you get the application for life. I'm not saying there's a trial, it's just I mean, a secure connection for life. See, here we go, we're back in World of Warcraft. Runs just as good as my wireless internet. But, um, to be fair, my phone is connected to my router as well. So, let's disable my router. I wonder how good it runs when I turn it off my connection. I forgot how to do that actually. Let's go to settings. 
wireless networks check off Wi-Fi aha I've been disconnected from the server so let's try logging in again see if I still have connection just using the regular old 3G network here Oh, it's connecting me. And look at that, we still have the internet connection. I'm not sure if it's gonna be any worse, because I disabled my Wi-Fi. Just for those who are still watching and only wanted to know how to do this, you could probably stop watching now. I'm just showing you examples of how well it works. Probably should have warned you when I first started doing it. A little slow here. There we go. We're back in. Still works just as good. A little bit choppy, but it's not that much of a difference. Considering this is a, a pretty crappy laptop I'm using right now. So, even with Wi-Fi disabled, this thing works perfectly good. So, let's do, let's get off WoW here. Let's do a couple of uh, YouTube searches here. Mm, there we go. Let's watch a quick video. Let's watch a large tornado in Paris, Texas. There is no sound to this video, is there? There is not. It's a little slow when it comes to YouTube videos, but it does get the job done. And that's pretty much how to do it in my examples.